Today is the last episode in an eight-part series on renovation of this 30-year-old brick ranch house. We've moved almost every wall and completely redone the inside as well as the outside. Today is move-in day, so don't go away. You know you want to see how it's all going to turn out. Today on For Your Home. If you've ever been involved in a major renovation or remodeling project, then you know how exciting it is to finally reach the end of that road and be able to move all your belongings into your new spaces. Well, today on For Your Home, we're putting the finishing touches on our project house and then decorating it for the big charity event that will take place here tomorrow night. I thought you'd like to see what it's like during move-in day in a show house. So join me and my designer friends and craftsmen as we decorate this show house. A big part of the charity event is going to be a silent auction. All the furnishings for this house were donated by my friends in the furniture industry. They are such a great charitable group of people. I just love working with them. Now all the proceeds from the auction are going to go to benefit the Children's Hospital here in town. Another good friend of mine is Ann Nielsen. She's a wonderful artist and she has been so gracious to agree to provide all of the art for the house. She's here with one of her paintings. You're going to really like her. Come on. Oh, it's beautiful, Anne. Thank you. Hey, Vicky. Oh, gosh. The whole house oh. looks amazing. Well, thanks gosh. to all of you guys. Great art. I mean, oh, and I love this piece. This is so beautiful. You know, your team started hanging art last night before we even had the windows yes. cleaned. And I just love the way it's turning out with well, everything. It just looks amazing. I mean, art transforms the a, a room. It really does, you know, and I'm so surprised that you had as many contemporary pieces to share with us because, you know, we have a lot of rooms to fill and you've filled them yeah. all. Well, that our, um, we have a lot of contemporary artists and uh -huh. we are finding that more of our clients are going down the contemporary, you know, art collecting road and so it's been really, it's been fun. To yeah, see. it is. And of course, I love your work and I'm familiar with it because I've known you for a long time. Yeah. Angels Among Us. And so this gives you an opportunity to really live your passion, doesn't well, it? Well, it does. And I started um, painting angels about 10 years ago. And my whole purpose was to be able to paint and give back. And so to be a part of this fundraiser for the Children's Hospital, is it just carries on that um, tradition of being able to give back through art. And not only my art, but the artists that we um, Yeah, we have some represent. amazing artists here. Tell me about some of them. Well, we've got Lauren Adams, who um, is an incredible contemporary artist, and her color and her flair of just um, mixing her colors is great. We've got Craig Hawkins, which did the hallway. Uh -huh, I love um, those pieces. Charcoal pieces are fabulous. We've done very well with his work in the gallery. Um, Joyce Howe, another favorite um, piece of mine in the kitchen. Uh -huh. um, just a lot of just great artists. Yeah, and the fun, and the dogs in the laundry room. And the dogs in the laundry so room great. are just incredible. Yeah. So we really do have a lot of different art, um, a lot of different mediums. Um, and, you know, from contemporary to we have a few little um, landscapes. And lands exactly, and I love that. Well, so. I thank you so much for sharing them all with uh, you and with this us. Is I have to get busy hanging drapes. You have to get busy finishing um, hanging art. Yes, so we do. Thanks, well, Anne. Thank I'll you. see you at the party. Good night. Hey, Rob. Hey, David. Hi, Vicki. Oh, gosh, this is looking so fantastic. It's really going to make the living room. I know it is. What are you getting ready to do now? Uh, right now, I'm hanging glass shelves on a stainless steel cable system. So they're just going to hang down right here? Yeah, they'll be suspended between the back wall, in between the top, and the soffit. 
Oh my gosh, that sounds so fantastic. But right now with all the dust from the landscapers, <laughs> it's like, oh no, something else to dust. But yes, exactly. I can't wait to see it all come together. Hey ladies, let's wait and let Rob and David get done with this before we start moving furniture on top of them. Thanks, I'll let you guys get back to work. Thank you. The master bedroom has really turned into a great retreat. The beautiful walnut barn doors suspended on stainless steel hardware lead into an inviting space. The wall mounted vanity is underlit with LED lighting. The steam shower and heated floors will provide a great spa space for the new homeowners. The toilet features hands free flushing. Many wonderful features like these are included throughout the house. The house has three bedrooms. I decided the smaller front bedroom would be a great location for a den or a home office. The second bedroom will make a nice large guest room. It has plenty of closet space and its own bathroom. The closets are all an important part of this house. Each one has been outfitted with an organizational system to maximize their efficiency. The pantry provides lots of storage and a convenient coffee center so we don't have to take up space on the kitchen counter for a coffee maker. I found a great stainless steel table at a flea market for the laundry room. It will make a handy spot to fold clothes and do crafts and other projects. Love the bright blue and clean white look of the cabinets. The drop zone and the work counter are just perfect for a busy household. Jennifer's exciting faux finish is a perfect accent to the tile wall, the floating vanity, and the vessel sink in the powder room. The living room is going to take all of my major furniture arranging skills to get all the pieces I've selected into this single room. I love the way the kitchen turned out. It's big, open, and a wonderful layout. The open shelves and the big island and the bar area really make it a great place for entertaining. And I'm crazy about the decorative runner that's been painted on the stairs to the attic. The exterior of the home was updated with new doors and windows. In the front, lighting, a raised lawn area, and artificial turf and new plantings revitalized an old lawn. A towering cypress pergola and pavers transformed a boring back patio into an inviting outdoor space, complete with built-in grill and an open patio flame. 
David and his crew did a fantastic job on the landscape. I couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. If you remember how it looked just a few months ago, the big boxwoods here, well, they completely blocked the house. We had an old brick patio and a wall, overgrown bushes. We replaced all of that with beautiful new landscaping, a new paver stone patio, and a pergola. Every bit of it is absolutely fantastic. The only problem is, though, the homeowner has to take care of it. You know, when you put in a new lawn, you can only do so much, then you've got to take over on the maintenance side of it. In order to keep this yard looking as great as it does today, that requires a good sprinkling system. We put in an irrigation system in here that would handle both the front and the back. Now, there was already a system here in the house originally, but just like the house, it was 30 years old, and there are so many advancements that have been made since that time that it was really time to replace it and upgrade it to a new, more modern system. One of the big issues we had back then was the controls. Well, they were in the crawl space. Didn't make it very easy to make any adjustments by the homeowner. We solved all that problem by locating it right inside the garage. We have everything on timers. It can all be programmed. We can save water. And that's really the important thing here is to have a smarter use of water. Now, one of the things that we did here was we created zones in this yard. Around the shrubberies, we have drip hoses, a very efficient way to water your annuals, your perennials, and your shrubs. Now, for the lawn part, we have sprinkler heads that'll pop up and keep all the grass looking nice and green. In the front, we have that great raised bed area. We have drip hoses all around our shrubbery in that area, but for that grass, no water required. It's artificial turf. The whole entire yard, the pergola at the end of the street, everything turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to look. Maybe it's time to do a little upgrading at your house with your lawn. Whether you're decorating a show house or your house, here are some tips that might make your job a whole lot easier. If you'll be using an area rug in your new space, always start with an empty room and a clean floor. I always use a pad under my rugs to protect both the floor and the rug. Measure the space, make sure the pad is positioned exactly where you want the rug to go. It's always easier to move around a pad than a heavy rug. Remember your walkways and furniture placement when positioning your rug. Perfect. If you're using a rug in a bedroom, it doesn't always have to go all the way under the bed. Don't forget to vacuum that rug before you start positioning the furniture. Somebody give me a ladder! Not all furniture will get delivered at the same time. Think about where you might store furniture until it has arrived and you're ready to start decorating your new space. Okay. Always open and inspect all your shipments when they arrive to make sure there's no damage. Keep each piece well wrapped until it's moved into the house to protect it from dirty hands and dust. Decorating isn't for the faint of heart, it's hard, heavy work. Make sure you have some strong friends to lend you a hand when you're moving into your new spaces. Plan on moving pieces more than once until you get them exactly where you want them to be. Don't forget to measure your doorways and your hallways before you purchase furniture. It has to pass all the way from the outside of the house to its designated location. Oh, careful, careful, oh, careful, hold, hold. hold. Window treatments are an important aspect of a well-decorated room. Although expensive, good, high-quality drapery hardware is always worth the investment. Don't skimp on support braces and always use wall anchors when installing hardware. Draperies can be very heavy, especially custom line drapes. It's a good idea to have a helper and always work on a good, steady ladder. This is not the time to try to balance on a chair or a short stepping stool. Your electrician will install your ceiling fixtures and sconces during the last construction phases. But don't put on the lampshades or install any of the crystals until you decorate. You don't want to have to dust crystals forever. Lamps should be one of the last items that go into a room. It's too easy for them to get broken. Don't forget to remove that plastic wrap from around your lampshades. It's only there to protect them during the shipping and the handling process. But then, you already knew that, right? It's not about finding a picture that matches your room. It's about incorporating art that enhances the space because of its strong imagery, the color, and how it makes you feel when you see it in that environment. 
You don't need images of wine bottles or fruits and veggies in your kitchen. Instead, select images that you enjoy seeing day after day. If it's in a laundry room, incorporate images that are fun and express your area of interest. If you're a pet lover, then show it off with a whimsical image of your favorite pet. Match the art to the mood. A home office can become a relaxing retreat if your art is gentle, soothing, and calm. Your creative juices will flow when they're not competing with vivid images filled with static energy. Beauty can come in many forms. In a bedroom, consider art that represents sophisticated, classic charm and grace. Most bathrooms present a neutral palette, providing a wonderful opportunity to incorporate any color or style of image you like. Not every room demands a painting. If your walls are already decorative, then don't compete with them. Today's home cooks are demanding professional quality appliances. For this kitchen, I selected stainless steel, heavy duty pro appliances. The large gas range has a big oven, four burners, and a grill. The dishwasher has advanced features that make cleanup quick and easy for any chef. The island microwave drawer is easy to access and out of the way. The large side-by-side -side stainless steel refrigerator looks great and provides plenty of storage space for fresh and frozen foods. A TV mounted on the range hood makes it easy for the cook and the guests to watch their favorite cooking shows. The stainless steel appliances blend beautifully with the gray cabinets and polished chrome faucets. The show house turned out absolutely beautiful, but it wasn't this pretty when we started out. Take a look at what we had to do to transform this 30-year-old ranch home. One of the things that I noticed in, that's different in this renovation mm -hmm. than on my house right. is that you guys chose to take almost all the drywall out of the house. Sure. Um, we chose to do that for a variety of reasons. It's easier for our subs to have access to the areas that they needed to in the house. Um, by code, we have to be able to get the whole house up to current day code, and so having that access helps with time. It saves money in, in the long run, we think. Now, David, what do you think? Is this not the biggest FY challenge ever? This is going to be a big one. <laughs> this is going to be quite the project. We chose to go change the whole style of the house. We went with long casement type windows to give you long, clean lines. And it was, a, it was a good process because it totally changed the whole inside and outside appearance of the home. The stainless steel, the hardy look, all of those great features is what they're looking for. So we'll walk in here and take okay. a couple look. Right. So are you finding then that manufacturers are kind of answering that by their design changes? They sure are. Okay. Now are the features really different as well? Did we get that professional look or are they still pretty much the same inside? They just look different. There will be some feature differences, but it's still us as the end user that want the same basic uses that we have every day. So good lighting, good cooling, when we're talking about refrigeration. You know, lots of storage, ease of use. We kind of have a problem that's our, you know, our fault. Uh, when I gave you the measurement of the height of the ceiling, I told you it was 106. Okay. And we actually have 107 inches. Sometimes people don't think of faux finishing when you say contemporary, but with the right combination of pattern and product, you can really get a nice, beautiful look that warms up a room. I want to talk about one of the 
things that I love the most about redoing a bathroom, and that's installing a heated floor. The chimney is in the center of the room, but he didn't build a firebox in the center. So here's the mastermind of doing it. So what'd you come up with? Well, here? I've got about five different ideas here. So I sat down and I laid out a plan for all of the closets. Then I met with our general contractor, Josh, to go over installation. Here's what we came up with. You know, I noticed when Gus was installing the switches that they're different. Lighting is one of the most important aspects in any home's decor. When I was selecting lighting for this contemporary project, I was faced with a question. Do crystals belong in contemporary lighting? I love the lights that we selected for the front of the house. They're very contemporary and very clean, and the dark color, I think, goes well with the lighting, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, it does, and it really matches the, uh, the trim work around the windows so nicely. So guys, you're all gathered up for the big finale, huh? We are, yeah. absolutely. Just staying out here admiring your work, right? Yeah, we try to as much as we can. <laughs> it's always good for us. You know, Kyle, I think the outside is just terrific. You know, you were in charge of this whole part of the yeah. project, and I love it. Yeah, it turned out great. You know, it's a small spot to fit a lot of things, but, you know, fitting tree, tree timbers was created some obstacles, um, but I think it turned out great. Yeah, so do you think the framing crew, have they recovered from lifting these up no, in place? With, with no ability to use a crane. It, <laughs> it took quite a few guys, but we, we got it there. Yeah, well, I love the scale of it. I think it's fantastic, and it just really ties in the house. I also like that the patio has an irregular shape to it, so it just kind of blends, and there you can move the traffic pattern around, because that was one of the issues that we had to deal with out here. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's a good contrast between the pergola and the free-flowing lead walk. Yeah, I back. like that a lot. I think it turned out really great. And you had some uh, big obstacles in the inside of the house, too, right? Yeah, nothing too bad, nothing too bad. Janine put together a great plan for us um, to execute, and, you know, that's part of having a good team is being able to sort of put a plan in place and then solve some problems on the fly together. And, um, we did that, specifically the fireplace, the dimensions that we thought we had were a little off and we created something really cool. Yeah, I think that's that, a really interesting feature of the yeah. house, you know, and, and we're supposed to do it so people didn't know we had an issue, and now I tell everybody that walks in, I go, this is what happened, yeah, so you know, it's one of those deals, yeah. When it turns out that good, you got to make sure you point out yeah. the solution. Yeah, well, I, you know, I really like the way that you designed this house. It's similar to my house, yes. but it's totally different than my house. Well, it did have the same bones as your house, uh, where the house had the front to the uh, uh, street side that you couldn't even get to. So we did have to do the flip-flop of the, of the space plan, which uh, is very similar to your house, but the appointments that we put into the house being all contemporary, um, and yet we were still maintaining some elements of traditional with moldings. I love the uh, comfort ceiling in the, in the main living room. Yeah, but turning it on an the, angle, though, makes it diagonal. more contemporary. Yeah. And the fireplace the is um, asymmetrical, but symmetrical. And you'll just have to see it. Yeah, um, and then at the same time, we balance with the arches being exactly the same size on each one of them. So I do, I love that, the finishes of it. And, you know, a lot of people have asked me, 
now that I've been in this house and my friends are coming, they go like, okay, so do you want to move down the street now to this house? And I go, no, I still love my house. You know, yeah. I love the way it is. Well, your furnishings and interior design is just fabulous in the home. Oh, thank you, Jenny. It's really nice though when you got great structure to work with, like you say, and a good layout. It's fun to put furniture into that space. And, you know, we had a baby grand piano we wanted to put in the living room, and the thought of that at first is like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but I think it works and it flows. And, and it's not a white kitchen. No, it's not a white <laughs> kitchen. We have a gray kitchen, which is great. And, uh, you know, all the fixtures and all the things that, that people worked with us on, on bringing to the house, I think, turned out really beautiful as well. Yeah. And, um, it's just, uh, it's always fun to work with people. So you guys are ready for the next project? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I hear the house next door is vacant. Yeah, I heard the same thing. You <laughs> yeah. think we could uh, do that one? But that's a two-story. Oh, let's tear it apart. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> you know, it's always great to do a lot of construction on a house, but the best part of it always is today when it's all done. I hope that you will join us next time right here on For Your Home because I'm off to a new project. I have an outdoor living show, and you know you're going to want to see that. See you next time right here on For Your Home. Do you want to know more about the projects today or our guests? Visit us on the web. You're going to find great behind the scenes shots, streaming video, project ideas. We even have an e-newsletter with tips and ideas. It's foryourhome.com.